So, where is a safe haven? In God. In the Holy Land. Across the River Jordan. Certainly isn't in this earth. Boy, oh boy. Here we are, Sunday the... Oh, it's the Ides of March. Sunday the 15th of March, <laughs> 2020. Et too brute comes to mind. It all stabbed him in the back. <laughs> all his loyal... Ha! Uh, senators or whatever. Got into Africa, Italy in lockdown, Spain in lockdown, France talking about it, or I think gone for it. We're banned from America. America just hasn't even realized yet. They were in denial to start with, and they haven't got the testing kit, so they don't know the scale of their problem. It's just one tiny little virus. not even particularly lethal. Don't get old, don't get sick is a little thing I've said over the years. I spoke to a doctor, a GP, general practitioner of 60 years old, a lady who got through it and she reckoned it was the worst illness she'd ever suffered. So like a really bad cold. But she said, well, you know, I'm 60, I don't have any other um, concomitant medical problems, so she got through it. And I think generally the most ordinary healthy people will, ordinary, uh, not old with underlying medical conditions, frail. So it's going to kill off the old for a start. Thank heavens my mother isn't in this world. Quite frankly, I don't know what I'd think. I don't have to worry about her now. She died at the age of 95 in the year 2008. On Friday the 22nd of August 2008 at about 10 a.m. in the morning. Otherwise, I have no personal ties in this world. My son committed suicide at the age of 18, as it happens on Tuesday, the 23rd of August, 2011. Certainly no wife. I divorced my former wife in 1996. Ha! May she be nameless. So I actually have no worries. I'm awfully sorry, but that's my personal, those are my personal circumstances. It does have its downside. It means I'm alone with God, basically. I had two beautiful German shepherd dogs. I felt called to go out to Africa, South Africa, from Holland, and I had to leave them behind. Not for having not tried to bring them with me, but to turn up in South Africa and my big beautiful brand new Land Rover with two great big German Shepherd dogs was never going to work. I did look into it and I went to a good home in Holland, both together. Mr. Jock and Mademoiselle Eleanor were their names. So there we are. It is a dark world. Greed. Mankind's greed is rampant. Well, this is definitely going to sort the wheat from the chaff, if not the sheep from the goats, to use two biblical references. The sheep from the goats is when we turn up at St. Peter's Gate, I think, isn't it? 
at the end times. <laughs> no, you're allowed in. No, 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 sorry, not you. <laughs> not funny. I'm a Christian, I'm a human being. I have very deep feelings for my fellow human beings, especially at the moment in Syria and Yemen. But everywhere, it's got into Africa, 24 countries now. Well, they're not going to have the facilities to deal with it. I'm not being rude, it's just the reality. Most countries in Africa are not geared up in the least as we are in Europe. Here in, in Britain, England. And we are not going to be able to cope if it really kicks in. And it's just on the cusp at the moment, I believe. I listen to the BBC World Service. Some top, very well-recognised journalist in America... There was a little item about her tweeting some nonsense. Tweeting, I think it's nonsense, but anyway. Tweeting some sense, saying she doesn't know who to trust. Well, people apparently are turning to the BBC, and one of the problems is that they become just mouthpieces for the, for the propaganda of the government. And as a good journalist, you have to question what the politicians and others say, and what they do. But on the other hand, you want the facts. And thus far, my take, in, as I'm living here in England, St Albans, Hertfordshire, England, is that actually they're, they're being up front with us, the politicians, about this corona, corona, it's corona, let's get it right, corona, virus because it looks like the sun with its corona with the sunspots firing out little thingies when the little thingies are what proteins I think attach to your cells and then this little fellow just subsumes itself into the, your cells and replicates and it's only RNA ribose nucleic acid not deoxy ribose nucleic acid DNA and it merrily gets on and it mutates there was another very interesting uh, analysis of the bio the virologist of how they can track now because they they can um, detect it and and analyze it and its DNA in within eight hours or something, so pretty much real time. And did it come from here or there, or was it somewhere else, or what was its origin? So if it's slightly mutated, and apparently this one has got a, another protein or, or enzyme or whatever it is to preclude against um, mutations. That's my best understanding. So it's a clever little thing. Ah, who made it? For heaven's sake. I'm reviewing my films as it happens, and I just am so boring. There are two commandments. The first is, thou shalt love the Lord thy God with all thy heart and all thy mind and all thy soul and all thy strength. And the second is like unto it, thou shalt love thy neighbor as thyself. On these two commandments hang all the law and the prophets. Amen. How boring can I be? And that encapsulates the whole of life. Amen. No one's listening. They don't see, they don't hear.